Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of one of my favorite suburbs of Richmond, which is Short Pump. I'll show you what your bubble would look like living in Short Pump, and be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to also show you one of my favorite neighborhoods in the area. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. I'm Taylor Jefferson, and my wife Sarah and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate. We've helped tons of families relocate to Richmond. And if you're thinking about doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. It's full of useful information all about Richmond and the surrounding areas. The link's in the comments below and on our banner image. If you haven't done so already, you have to subscribe to our channel, because every week we'll be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including best neighborhoods, area tours, family-friendly activities to do, and more. Now with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. So in addition to being a real estate broker and a retired pharmacist, I've earned a new self-given title of Richmond Tour Guide. I've been doing tours of all the different areas of Richmond pretty much weekly for different relocation clients. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I show our clients during one of these tours when they might be interested in learning more about Short Pump. This video will mostly be going over all the major and minor commercial spots, but we will absolutely be doing more neighborhood tours for this area in the future. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out so that you can follow along with me, or in case this is the first video you found of ours, let's talk about where Short Pump is located. Short Pump is in what's called Richmond's West End, and it's called that because it is in the westernmost part of Henrico County. This is one of our favorite suburbs because it's so amenity rich. It really is a great place for families. So when I talk about Short Pump, I mean everything bordered by Highway 288 to the west, Broad Street to the north, Patterson Avenue to the south, and Gaskins Road to the east. There are some blurred lines along West Broad Street to the north where is it Short Pump or is it Glen Allen? But I'm not going to focus on those areas in this video because we covered it in our Best Neighborhoods of Glen Allen video. So be sure to give that one a watch if you haven't seen it yet. So starting off, I'm going to begin at the Highway 64 exit for West Broad Street and then take you all the way down to Highway 288 exit. This is about 3.3 miles long and I think you'll be amazed at everything that is packed in this small stretch of road. So immediately to the left after getting onto West Broad Street, there's a community called West Broad Village, which is a townhome community with mixed residential and commercial use buildings. Located within West Broad Village are a bunch of restaurants, both Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, lots of entertainment, and the gym that Sarah and I go to, ACAC, which is awesome. Other side of West Broad Street, there's a Best Buy, a Home Depot, a Target, and a few other stores along that same shopping center. As an FYI, these first few stoplights along West Broad Street are fairly congested during rush hour, but otherwise traffic flows nicely through here. Now, that takes us to the John Rolfe and West Broad Street intersection. If you turn left here, it'll take you to some of the residential areas, including neighborhoods such as Crown Grant and Raintree. Continuing on Broad, you'll reach a huge Walmart with attached strip mall with lots of little shops. At the next light is the intersection of Pump and Broad. Located here is the Short Pump Elementary School, the Short Pump Park, which is also a dog park, and a Publix grocery store with a Total Wine, and one of our favorite bars, the Poor House. If you head south on Pump Road, it'll also take you towards more great neighborhoods, including Sherbrooke, Waterford Way, Wythe Trace, and Summer Wood. Heading north on Pump Road takes you towards Twin Hickory and Wyndham neighborhoods, which you can learn more about in our Glen Allen neighborhoods video. Just past the Pump Road intersection is the Short Pump Movie Theater. Honestly, Sarah and I didn't go there too often for date nights, though, because the crowd there is definitely a little young. Lots of parents would drop their kids off on the weekend to catch a movie, so Sarah and I went to our favorite place for movies instead, which is Cine Bistro. Definitely check that place out if you haven't before. Next along West Broad Street is the Short Pump Town Center Mall, which is a huge open-air shopping destination. Not only does it have the best shopping in Richmond, it also has some really great restaurants surrounding it, including one of our favorites, Cooper's Hawk. But there's also the Boathouse, Texas Day Brazil, Cheesecake Factory, and more. To undo all the damage you did at the restaurants, there's a huge American Family Fitness that's a really nice facility, and it's located right behind the mall. And along the perimeter of the mall, and even on the other side of Broad Street, there are lots of shopping centers all around. Nearby at Lauderdale Road and Broad Street is what I think is the largest and nicest Kroger grocery store I've ever seen. Also within this commercial hub is one of our favorite places to get ice cream, Gelati Celesti. But be warned, once you taste Gelati, you'll never want to eat another brand of ice cream again. Seriously though, you've been warned. If you head south on Lauderdale, you'll run right into the Wellesley neighborhood, which landed on our best neighborhoods in Short Pump video. This will also take you towards Fox Hall, the colonies at Wild Lake, and all the way down Lauderdale, you'll get to the older and more affordable Tuckahoe Village neighborhood. At the intersection of Broad and Gayton, there are a few restaurants and a handful of medical offices. Both north and south on Gayton Road will take you to residential areas. North takes you to the Bakova neighborhoods, which have the major downside of being so close to Highway 64. 
In some parts of Bakova, you can even see the highway from your home. And even if you can't see it, in many other parts of the neighborhood, you can still hear it. Bakova did not make the list of best neighborhoods for that reason. Past Gaten Road, it starts to get really good again. Lots of new development has taken place here, including the shops at Greengate, which is essentially West Broad Village 2.0, and it contains three of our favorite restaurants, The Daily, Red Salt, and Mellow Mushroom. Across the street from there is the new Cabela's and Wegmans, along with some various other spots. And finally, past this point, we have reached the Highway 288 exit, but not before arriving right at the new golf attraction, Drive Shack. Be sure to check out our video, Drive Shack vs. Golf, to see which one we think is best. Well, as you can see, in that 3.3 mile stretch along West Broad Street, there is so much, and that's why we love the short pump area. Awesome date night spots, tons of entertainment, safe neighborhoods, and great schools. We lived in Short Pump for about five years, and we loved it. What's crazy is that was just what is along West Broad Street. And while the majority of everything is along that stretch of the road, there are still some other spots to check out, too. So to the south is Patterson Avenue, and after Gaskins Road, it pretty much just becomes a road to provide access to Highway 288 just above the river. And going past that will take you into the rural county of Goochland. Along Patterson Avenue, there is a Food Lion Shopping Center, which would be very convenient for anyone living in the southern parts of Short Pump, including the Tuckahoe Village neighborhood. A little northeast of there, along Gaskins Road, is a Kroger shopping center. There used to be a Publix right behind the Kroger, but that has since become a large Gold's Gym. The melting pot's located here, as well as some other little restaurants that are a great spot to grab a quick, cheap bite to eat. If you live in the Raintree neighborhood, this will probably be your go-to spot. A little further north, up Gaskins, before you get to the Highway 64 exit, you pass by Ridgefield Parkway, and Deep Run Park is located right off of it. Deep Run is one of our go-to spots for a nice walk through the trails, and Ava loves the playgrounds there. It's a beautiful nature setting that makes you forget you're anywhere close to a major city. Traveling further along Ridgefield, you get to the intersection of John Rolfe and Ridgefield. Here, there's a really nice YMCA gym and a public shopping center. This is an awesome spot because it's so convenient to so many surrounding neighborhoods, including Bennington Ridge, Ridgefield Green, Stone Quarter, and more. There are a few other little shopping centers scattered around the Short Pump area, but all the ones I mentioned today were the ones worth mentioning. The great part about living in Short Pump is that no matter where you live, you're pretty convenient to one of these, and in the big picture overall, you're probably no more than seven minutes away from the furthest spot from you. So, I told you I'd give you a tour of one of my favorite neighborhoods, and I want to show you the colonies at Wild Lake. This neighborhood's located south of Church Road and to the west of Lauderdale Road. This is a late 80s neighborhood, and what I love so much about that is how beautiful and mature the landscaping is now, and all the lot sizes are pretty large for a short pump suburb, ranging in size from 0.4 acres up to three quarters of an acre. That's practically a farm here. Home sizes range from 2,700 up to 4,200 plus square feet, and the prices are from the low 400s up to the mid 700s. Honestly, this neighborhood reminds me so much of Wellesley, but here's where it differs. The HOA is only 164 per year, and it doesn't really include any amenities. That being said, there is a neighborhood pool and tennis club that you can join separately called the Colonies Swim and Tennis Club. Residents pay a one-time fee of $1,200 and then a yearly ongoing membership of $625. Lastly, here is something important to know about the neighborhood. It's bordered by creeks along the north and west, so some of the homes on the perimeter of the neighborhood may require flood insurance, but not too many of them. Be sure to subscribe to our channel because in the future we'll be doing more neighborhood tours, including lots of the ones mentioned in this video today. If you're thinking about moving to Richmond or if you have any questions about the Richmond home buying process, be sure to give us a call. We've helped tons of families move to Richmond, and we can make your move stress-free and easy. I appreciate you being here with me today, and I'll see you next time.